this is geo Techland, and today i'll be showing off the latest version of semu 1.15.10 but i will also be talking about what's new with semu itself because it's been a while since i've uploaded a video about semu and lastly i'll have some exciting news on the vulcan side of things for this emulator so i want to talk about a few things that are new with semu one of which is the auto updater so you can now check for updates and won't have to you know download a new version of semu and kind of readjust the settings like i've been doing so this is going to make things easier um, especially for testing i won't have to you know redo restart the process all over again after every version of semu that's really been the one big update everything else has been little tweaks here and there with um the games list you know in terms of like sorting your games list which i don't really use anyways um one thing i did notice too is that you can now switch the scaling a little bit higher so this is good when testing so you guys can see the fps cpu usage ram usage other things related to semi hook is that the graphics pack would tell you if semi hook is required although you don't see it now because i have semi hook you know installed the old-fashioned way the other thing is that now you're you're supposed to be able to take screenshots so if i press print screen it's supposed to save pictures to a semi directory hey look and it works so that's pretty cool again i don't personally use screenshots i guess it can come in handy when um when i record it affects performance so you won't see the real fps so that's pretty neat there so when it comes to performance on the windows side of things i'm using the latest uh, driver for my amd gpu 19.7.1 and the interesting thing with um, breath of the wild on windows it actually looks like performance got worse normally you'd be hovering at about 20 fps in the field but now it, it gets closer to 15 and I tried tweaking a lot of the settings, installing semi-hook the old fashioned way. I tried tweaking the graphics uh, settings. Again, unless I miss something, it looks like the performance got worse in Windows here. So yeah, none of these mods or FPS would do anything. I tried changing the settings here for triple core recompiler and all it did was raised the CPU usage, but it didn't affect FPS at all. Moving over to the Linux side of things, Breath of the Wild performs as good as it's ever performed. You can't see now, but the game performs at 20 FPS, which is the best it's ever really done. Now, obviously on AMD GPUs, specifically the RX 500 series, there's this glitch where everything looks dark and black here. There are ways to fix it, and I did attempt it once. I didn't have much success, so for now, it'll remain like this. I'm hoping it gets fixed in like later versions of Mesa drivers here, but we'll see. Once Vulcan comes along, this shouldn't be an issue, hopefully. So interestingly enough, once again, Linux is performing better than on Windows, so that's pretty cool. So the big news with Semu um, it looks like an upcoming version of SEMU, which is supposed to be SEMU 1.16, will finally have Vulkan as a graphics API choice, which should be pretty good because, especially if you've been on AMD, OpenGL hasn't worked too well for, for AMD users, and this is going to finally unlock performance, hopefully. Uh, right now, I guess from what I've read and, and heard, Vulcan is still very much in beta. Some games are starting to render, but they're, they haven't been optimized yet. So that is uh, one good thing to look forward to. And if this all goes well, anyone who has the RX 500 series, like the 580 or 480s or 470s, 570 GPUs, it looks like our GPUs will be aging like wine, at least when it comes to this emulator. So that's one really exciting thing to look forward to. I can't wait to start testing that out and seeing how all these uh, Wii U games perform. If you found this video helpful, 
and you like the work that I do, you can always follow me on all the social medias. I am everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Mastodon, Diaspora, PixelFed. And please share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.